Hello everybody, welcome to my mom's video and I'm Chanel and I'm going to introduce my puppy. Come here Jackson. Jackson, come here. This is my dog Jackson. Jackson, see you next time. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Today we have another very exciting topic for you. I mean, all of my topics I told you are like super, super exciting. I mean, who is not excited about business analysis? Who? Who? <laughs> Today we have an exciting topic for you and it's gonna be about, is the business analyst job important? Like why is business analysis important? That's what we're talking about right now, okay? But before we do, go check out a word from our sponsors and then we'll come right back. This video is brought to you by Vertex 42. Vertex 42 has a number of high quality templates that's gonna be very helpful for you in your next project. So whether you're looking for a budget template or a SWOT analysis or a Gantt chart or a to-do list or whatever you're looking for, they have a template for you. So I'm gonna put the link to them below this video. So click on the link, it's gonna take you to this page and then you click on show me the spreadsheets. That will open up this web page. It has so many cool templates. I mean, every kind of template that you're looking for, you will be able to find here on this website. So not just business analyst templates, but financial calculators, flyers, letters, resumes, project management stuff. Everything you need is here and it's all filled in already. So you just need to change the words. Some of them already have the formulas for your calculations and so on. So it's very helpful. And by you coming to this website and clicking on one of these templates and purchasing it, you will actually be funding and helping what I'm doing here on YouTube. So go ahead, click on that link below and check out these awesome templates. So I was gonna do this video from this room, but the sound is a little off and the lighting is a little off. So I'm just gonna go back um, to my other office area and I'll record from there. So give me one second, I'll be right back. So this is better. It actually wasn't the lighting, it was the camera needed to be wiped off. But you guys know how it is when you're doing videos. It's always something that goes wrong. But anyway, luckily we solved the technical issues. Let's talk about the topic of today, which is um, why the business analyst role is important. And I'm going to say a number of things, but it's all going to map back to this point. That the business analyst role is important because we help companies to grow and to remain successful. That's really what it is. Right, And I mean, there are many different departments and different people in the company that also help them to grow and remain successful. But ours is special. Ours is important because we are actually the agents of change. I've said this all the time, but it's so true and I just have to keep saying it. We're the agents of change and we're able to articulate the rationale for change. And in this world, especially now that we've had the pandemic and everybody's seen how what you thought was normal can change like that. And now you have to adapt and you have to get used to some new processes and things like that. In this world of change, you need persons that are specialized in handling change so that the company can move forward, that the company can continue to be successful. And somebody has to have the focal point of this. Somebody has to be focused on this and make this you know, their world. Because if everybody's doing it, nobody's doing it. Like I was saying in another video of mine, mm -hmm. where there are several people who are doing business analysis in any organization. There's the executive team that are doing some business analysis because they have to understand the, the market. They have to understand, you know, what's going on. They have to make strategic decisions. They have to come up with the initiatives for the year. There's so much things that they have to do and they got to do analysis for that. And there's business analysis in that sphere as well. There is like product managers, there's project managers who are also doing business analysis. There's the IT business analysts, the process business analysts. There's a lot of different roles under the business analysis umbrella. And so even the programmer is doing some analysis. And if you didn't have a business analyst in some companies, the programmer does the analysis, elicits the requirement and go writes the code. Right? He's doing all three. So, you know, when you do it that way, everybody's doing a little bit of it, but 
you can have things that fall through the cracks because nobody's really focused on it. That's not their main job function. And so they're doing pieces of it, but they're not doing it completely. And they don't have the skill set that we have. They don't know the techniques that we know. And so people can just keep doing a little bit of here and there, but it's not going to come out with the success rate that it would if you had a person that was dedicated to doing this. And that's why it's important to have a business analyst, right? So that person can focus on this uh, ability to understand a current state and envision a future state to help the company handle change, especially in industries where it's very heavily regulated, uh, where there's new laws, new regulations that come down. How does the, the company um, remain successful with these new changes? They have to revamp their processes. They have to know handle these regulations and they need someone who can make sure that it's happening so that they don't disrupt whatever they were doing before, but they also meet, you know, remain in compliance and things like that. Uh, business continuity is what it's all about. Being able to handle the change so your company can continue to be successful. You can continue to, to make the money that you're making and help serve your customers and things like that. Because even outside the pandemic, just being in this era, this time in history, where technology is changing so fast, like you can't even keep up with it anymore. Like it's like, Fast, 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 fast. And consumer technology is much faster, obviously, than business technology, right? So the business is always behind of what the consumers are doing, but the consumers are forcing the business to catch up, right? Because you can get used to it, like an Amazon two-day delivery, you get used to having things done fast, you know? Um, so businesses with long, lengthy processes that take forever, they're not going to survive. And so they have to find a way to quickly adapt and keep up because the consumer market is moving so fast that the business to business um, or even business to consumer, they need to find a way to adapt to this change. So they need business analysts to focus their attention on this and to help them help guide them through what that would look like and how to move the organization along this path of change. Change management is a whole beast by itself, right? So, but we, we definitely are working in environments where change is happening really fast. And so business analysts are very helpful in helping the organization to navigate and get through that change um, to get to a better future state. The other thing that business analysts are important for is just, you know, as I said before, many people could be doing pieces of business analysis, but they end up with a lot of problems when they do it that way, piecemeal. When the programmer is doing the analysis, he might miss something because he doesn't have the skills to elicit the right requirements. And then you end up spending a lot of money just, you know, fixing errors and all that stuff. So the companies recognize that if they have one person who is, or more than one, a team or whatever, but you have people that are focused on understanding the problems and figuring out what the real best solution is, having all the discussions and all that stuff, that is much more more likely to be successful, right? And so the skill sets of, of eliciting requirements and understanding the real root causes of problems is immensely valuable to companies who, who don't have that visibility otherwise. And so that's why we're important as well. So at the end of the day, business analysts are important because we help to, we help keep the companies growing and keep them become, you know, maintain their success, right? And at the end of the day, it's really about helping the company save money and make money. So if you're cutting out a process that's lengthy, you're helping to save time and time is money, right? If you are making, you're helping to remove waste, wasting time, wasting resources, you're helping the company to be successful and to, to, to make money. So it's all about making money at the end of the day because companies have to have money to function and they, they need money. So other departments like sales, of course, they bring in on the, the clients, you know, the customer service, maintain the clients and support them. You know, the operations are doing what they do. So everybody's important, but the business analyst is almost like the nucleus of all that because if the processes are wrong, no matter how much you bring in the, the new clients from the sales team, they're not going to stay because you have some messed up process, right? And no matter how you give good customer service, if, you know, you're not efficient and everything is going slowly, then you're not going to, you're not going to survive. So everything kind of revolves around how the business analyst can, can help the organization to grow, to remain profitable and to, to make money. And that's why we're so important. So, okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Again, go down there and subscribe and like the video, leave a comment. And also go check out my website, carolise.com. I have some free courses on there that you can benefit from. And um, I would really, really love your support. Take care. This is Carolise. Bye.
If you're wondering how old is my dog, he's zero years old. And his my birthday and and my puppy's birthday is coming up. I'm gonna be six years old soon. <laughs> and remember to subscribe to the videos.